Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So I thought I'd vary up from IB Maths now to some Year 8 Maths on symmetry. So these are things that you can try at home as well to gain a better understanding of symmetry, both reflection and rotational, which we will look at in this video. Again, please like, please subscribe, the usual things to make those YouTube algorithms know that you like my content. Right, if you want to make a shape with one line of symmetry, you get your piece of paper, just like that, you fold it in half, like this, and then you draw any random shape that you like. Okay, I've drawn this shape here. And what happens is, if you cut it out, then you'll find that afterwards, once you fold it out, it has exactly one line of symmetry, which goes down the middle. Okay, so give yourself a couple of minutes, make three shapes in exactly this way, who says that maths and art can't be used together? And then stick them in your book and colour them in. So see what you can do making one line of symmetry. Okay, and we can do exactly the same kind of method for two lines of symmetry. So this time we get our paper, we fold it, then we fold it again, draw our crazy shape in like so, we cut it out with our scissors, and then if you open it up, you'll notice that you now have a shape with two lines of symmetry. One that goes right down the middle and one that goes across through the middle, both going through the center point of the shape. Again, if you want to, when you're at home, you can do exactly the same kind of thing. And this is great for making decorations that are mathematically symmetrical. It's a fantastic method. So again, give this a go if you are at home. Now, if we take symmetry, there are two kinds of symmetry. We looked at reflective symmetry, where we have a mirror line that if you fold it over, it looks exactly the same. But we also have got something called rotational symmetry, which I will go through in a moment. If we take our shape that we've got in front of us, we know that this has got two lines of symmetry, one vertical and one horizontal. Okay, but rotational symmetry, what this means is how many times can we turn the shape and it looks exactly the same. So watch carefully as I rotate this in a full turn, 360 degrees. So we go around, that's one. And right back to the beginning is two. So we can say that this has got two lines of reflective symmetry. That was the horizontal and vertical. And we've also got an order of rotational symmetry, which is two. And we can apply this to any shape that we like. So if we take our next shape, this shape here, again, we have our horizontal and vertical lines of symmetry. But let's see what's different with our rotational symmetry. So again, count very carefully as we go around. So the shape looks the same once. It looks the same twice. It looks the same three times, and then we're back to the beginning. And this is why I put the cross here to ensure that we know where we are when we get back to the beginning. So we know we haven't rotated it too much all the way around. So this one has two lines of reflective symmetry, but an order of rotational symmetry of order four. Okay, let's take another shape. This is kind of random. We have one line of symmetry that goes straight down the middle vertically, like so. Let's see what we have for our order of rotational symmetry. So you need to watch when they're exactly overlapping and you'll notice they never overlap, which means it has an order of rotational symmetry one. That means it only looks the same when it goes all the way around back to the beginning. So with this one, we have a line of reflective symmetry. So that's one, but we have an order of rotational symmetry of order one. And that's the key difference between lines of symmetry and order of rotation symmetry. Okay, so a quick exercise up on the board. You may wonder why this symbol is there. I'll let you know in a moment. So all you need to do for this exercise is to state how many lines of symmetry there are and then the order of rotational symmetry. Give yourself five minutes to do this exercise. Okay, hopefully pause the video, because then that's the best way of working. You watch an example, 
we practice and then we go through the answers. These are the answers here. Notice for question 12, we can draw a line anywhere, as long as it goes through the middle, on our shape, and it's always the same on both sides, yeah? If I slice a pizza all the way down the middle, it doesn't matter exactly where I slice it, I'll still give the other person half the pizza, as long as it's down the middle. And the same with a rotational symmetry, you can turn it a very, 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 very tiny angle, and it's still the same shape, it's still a circle. So that was a kind of trick question, question 12, to get you thinking about, okay, what do we do when it's basically everything. Yeah? Every time we do a tiny, tiny turn, it actually gives you the same shape. So that's why we write down the word infinite for that. Okay, that was a short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please like, please subscribe. If you want more symmetry videos or more transformation uh, videos where we go through these success criteria, then please let me know. All right, bye-bye for now.